Friends, in this video, I'm going to take you through the latest immigration news. This is your weekly update for August 31st. And yes, August 31st, summer is practically over. And we have some important updates to cover in this one. So watch it all the way until the end. The first update that I'd like to share with you guys is with respect to the USCIS furlough. Friends, as you know, USCIS had threatened to furlough up to 70% of its staff on August 30th. I reported out to you last week, and I'm going to link to that video. I reported out to you last week that the furlough has been canceled. USCIS wrote a very sort of bitter statement indicating that although they're canceling the furlough, they're also going to make deep cuts to their operations, which will ultimately result in case processing times slowing down. Things will get slower there. And so we weren't really happy with that news, right? I wasn't happy with that news. And so the agency is saying that they have no choice but to make these cuts, which they were trying to avoid, but because Congress did not give them the 1.2 billion in bailout that they were seeking, they will need to make these deep operational cuts. And in fact, the agency said that it is now forced to implement severe cost cutting measures. So stay tuned for my updates with respect to what things they're cutting and how those cuts are going to be impacting us, our clients, you and your family. Secondly, friends, the government has a new employment authorization form that it published on its website and it's the form is now in effect. It went into effect on August 25th, 2020. And so you must use that new EAD application when you're seeking to apply for the work permit and also seeking to renew the work permit. Watch my video about that new form. I go into much greater details about some of the key changes and things you need to be aware of as you are applying for work authorization. So check out that video. Next guys, DACA. With DACA friends, the latest news is this. On August 24th, USCIS published an additional guidance on DACA in which they clarified that yes, they are planning on rejecting all new DACA applications and limit renewals to one year. And furthermore, those who currently have a two-year renewals, those individuals will not be impacted by the changes that they're making. They say that they will also reject DACA renewal applications received more than 150 days before the current DACA period ex expires. They also clarified that an applicant should file for a renewal between 120 days and 150 days before their status expires. They've also indicated, friends, that they're limiting DACA recipients' ability to apply for advanced parole and individuals who will be granted advanced parole so that they may travel outside of the U.S. are those who are looking to leave the country for urgent humanitarian reasons or a significant public benefit only. And so that's that's not good. But just recently, also on Friday, this past Friday, DACA recipients and advocacy groups filed an amended complaint trying to push back on these changes by the Trump administration. They filed a complaint arguing that the latest directive is cruel, heartless, and unlawful. And so they're asking the court to block the administration's efforts to change the program. Lastly, friends, the State Department published the winners of the DV lottery for 2021. They included in their September bulletin, which is now available, they included the top countries which represented the most winners. And so at the top of the list, there's Egypt, Iran, Russia, Algeria, and Sudan. But the number of individuals who applied this time around was actually lower than previous years because the Trump administration has a policy that requires these foreign nationals to have a passport in order to enter the lottery. And so the individuals who have 
won the lottery are now able to apply for a visa. Now guys, also keep in mind that the presidential proclamation from June impacts severely the 2020 DV winners because those individuals must obtain their immigrant visa before September 30th of this year. And we're still waiting for news from the lawsuit, which is underway to attempt to issue a nationwide injunction on the proclamation. So stay tuned for news about the proclamation. But with respect to the 2021 DV winners, so long as you're looking to immigrate after December 31st of this year, you should be able to obtain your immigrant visa. Again, guys, unless President Trump is reelected and they extend the proclamation beyond December 31st. So there's a lot of ifs there, but it's still good news for the DV winners. Congratulations to those of you who did win the lottery. Friends, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos each week. Share this with other people. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.